College-bound high school seniors are awaiting big decisions this week in snail mail or email, but it's getting even harder to get into college than ever before. Part of the reason is that many schools are seeing a record number of applicants, but according to Winchester College counselor Kathy Costa, there's a lot more to it. We spoke with her about what's so different this year. There's a lot of things that are causing that. Some are, are well baked into the process and some are new this year. Um, obviously the common application being an online application that it's easy to send to multiple schools has caused proliferation of applications from each individual applicant over the years. People are just applying to more schools. Um, in addition, the pandemic has changed the game in the sense that many schools are test optional. So kids are feeling empowered to apply to schools that previously they might not have felt that they were a good match for or likely to get into. And in the other thing that the pandemic has done is create a lot of great inflation. And so schools were kind, kinder to kids and gave a lot of A's out. And so there are a lot of kids with very high GPAs. And in the absence of test scores, they feel like they're a match for schools that perhaps they aren't really likely to get into. One of the things that I've seen this year that that just seems like a stronger influence is uh, the importance of demonstrated interest. And this is when a student interacts with the school to show them that they're interested in coming there. And it can, you know, at its best, it's at its strongest, it's applying early decision and saying you're my favorite school. Uh, it also includes visiting colleges, interacting with them through virtual tours, which is a new thing that became much more available during the pandemic and has created a whole nother pipeline for schools to have applicants that they're interacting with and encouraging to apply. So with all these applications coming in, many schools are looking at who has interacted with me and looks like a real serious candidate versus who looks like they just threw in an application. And who do you think is more likely to get in? The person who has demonstrated interest. And more and more schools are behaving this way. They are waitlisting high stats applicants who previously look like they should have gotten in, but if they didn't interact, the school doesn't take them seriously. And the school is protecting its yield, which is the percentage of people that it makes offers to that actually come to the school. And schools want to have a high yield. Anyone they offer a spot, they hope will take it. So kids who don't interact with the school, they feel are less likely to yield. It is dispiriting schools that have previously been very reliable. You know, I don't call them safeties. I call them schools where you're in, in the upper percentage of applicants statistically. Um, they're not as reliable this year. Some of them are waitlisting and they've never done, or deferring early action applicants in particular, and they've never done that in large numbers before. Um, we speculate about why that is. Are they getting more applications and they can't handle them? Is it that they're not taking these applicants seriously and they want to wait until regular decision and compare them to other applicants? It's hard to know. But the other factor is that schools have these institutional priorities, which means they hear from their board what kind of students they want coming into that school. And colleges are trying really hard to look like our society and become more diverse and, and have be more welcoming to all different kinds of kids. So they change their behaviors from year to year in the sense that maybe they're looking for more first gen first generation kids this year or more kids who um, you know are Pell, Pell eligible applicants. And what that does is it changes their behavior from year to year. So it's harder to predict based on past results. And so a lot of families say, you know, well, kids used to get in with this GPA or the older sibling did, and it's just different now. I really encourage kids to open their hearts to all the schools that they applied to. I think sometimes they get, you know, fixated on a particular school and it is, you know, it's easy to take it personally if you don't get in. Sadly, many of these decisions are not personal. They're wrapped up in these sort of institutional priorities and other things that kids can't control. So I really encourage them to open their hearts, go to accepted student days at all of their schools and compare the reality of the school versus the marketing and the perceptions that they've heard from other people and compare it to their honest goals. I think in this environment where so many kids have high GPAs, it's important to look at what they have the power to control. And students really have the power to um, get engaged in things that really interest them and show intellectual curiosity, initiative, all of those characteristics that colleges are looking for in their applicants. Students have the power to show that. Even during the pandemic, I had students do online things like writing letters to Rose, writing to people in nursing homes, or tutoring other kids in computer science online. There are ways to interact with the world if you want to. And I think it's important to sort of 
be open-minded about that. And yeah, football might be canceled or things like that, but there are a lot of other interesting things to do. And it's, it's important to, you know, step outside the box and find something that you're interested in genuinely. And I think that shows that that interest will come across in their application.